Hi there. Um, welcome to our possibilities of exploration and discoveries. Um, you know that my goal in dentistry is always to be able to preserve teeth till we were 120 and never to lose them, and also to have the very best smile the very, on our very last day of life. And for that reason, we always want to maintain teeth to be very healthy and very uh, strong and not to wear down. And a lot of times through life, we grind and clench our teeth and cause a lot of problems to ourselves. The teeth eventually start chipping and we start losing what we call our vertical dimension and we get shorter in this part of our face and so we get sunken in and worn down, which can eventually cause a lot of muscle problems and jaw problems. So the goal today is, is to look at what we can do to be able to prevent it. And traditionally in the past, I've always been able to work with bite plates where people would be able to wear something at night or during the day to stop them from grinding and clenching so that the sides of the teeth don't wear and rub together as much. And also to do some exercises to be able to release these muscles so that they can be nice and relaxed as well as uh, telling ourselves an internal mantra of lips together, teeth apart and tongue in place. However, we have now and there are no, it's not only however, but now we also have magnesium as an extra additive that we want to put into the equation because sometimes recipes work better when we're multidisciplinary. And so we're looking at how magnesium can relax these muscles. And so I've met Linda and Linda um, and Dale, who uh, are part of the magnesium group and they uh, have a great product have taught me that magnesium actually relaxes muscles and calcium contracts and a lot of times our calcium doesn't work well in our body because the magnesium isn't there in the proper force with the vitamin D to be able to make the nice mixture so that the calcium can be properly absorbed. And so Linda's going to be talking more about that but what I want to introduce is the possibility that if we have the proper magnesium calcium relationship then we're going to be able to stop these muscles from being so tense either during the day or at night. At night we can release up to 600 pounds of pressure of uh, force on these teeth so it wears them so much that we actually can whittle down our teeth down into small little particles while we take away the outside enamel and then the dentin is soft and it wears out faster it's like an m m the crunch goes away and then the chocolate erodes so we want to preserve all the hard enamel the hard crunch and the muscles are often the cause of causing these teeth to gnash against each other so hard so we're looking at the outside source of working with magnesium to keep these muscles in a more relaxed space. And that's the study. The study is to see, will this make a difference? So we've devised a study that we're going to have a questionnaire, a letter to your medical doctor letting them know that we suggest the use of magnesium, which gets flushed out of the body every 24 hours. And we're also going to be able to do some EMG studies, electromyography, just to see how the muscles are contracting and to be able to monitor you at the beginning, mid, and at the end to see whether or not the magnesium is helpful for you. So with that, Linda's going to explain how all of this works from her perspective. Thank you, Dana. Yes, it's very exciting to be part of this study, and we're very thankful that uh, you are willing to be a part of this. I worked as a medical profession in nursing for many years, and uh, I do remember that doctors that would actually order magnesium intravenously when people came into hospital with heart attack and stroke, high blood pressure and migraines, but I really didn't understand the benefits of magnesium and the research that I've done over the last six years until my sister uh, found our product Natural Calm, which is a magnesium citrate powder that becomes ionic when you dissolve it in boiled water, um, it actually helped her with her severe migraines. And uh, the beauty of magnesium is magnesium activates 325 processes in the body, one of them being activating vitamin D to help metabolize calcium. Uh, Dr. Carolyn Dean in her book, The Magnesium Miracle, indicates that 80% of the population are magnesium deficient and 80% of the population have got a buildup of 10 calcium to one magnesium in their body. And as Dr. Uh, Colson was saying, um, if you get a buildup of calcium in your body, you end up with a lot of uh, problems with muscle pain and tension. Calcium's function in the body is to tense muscles and excite the nerves, whereas magnesium relaxes muscles and calms the nerves. So we, we find out, and we've been uh, doing a lot of reading regarding uh, the, the role that magnesium plays in the jaw and in the teeth.
Magnesium helps to absorb and assimilate the calcium, so it will actually help the teeth become stronger. It also helps to assimilate the plaque that will build up on the outside of the teeth, which can lead to caries and, and decay. And most importantly, regarding the study that we're going to be doing, magnesium will help to, rela to relax the, the muscles in the jaw and uh, hopefully prevent the grinding of teeth. We actually have some customers who've been taking the Natural Calm for, the, um, for grinding of teeth and for sleep problems, and it's really helped them tremendously. We also have another product, which is a magnesium chloride, it, which is derived from seawater. It's magnesium chloride, 450 milligrams. And this product is actually a transdermal magnesium, which you rub on the skin. My husband and I both use the transdermal magnesium diluted half strength, and we use it in our mouth. On our actually, we spray it on our toothbrush and brush our teeth with it twice a day. And it's actually helped to prevent plaque buildup. And we have, you know. Um, information about that from our own dentists and we also spray it I put it on my face as a toner and I put it right I have some problems with with uh, tightness in the jaw muscle as well and so I just spray it on my face diluted half strength again and it helps the muscles in the jaw to relax and um, we have found that both these products have been very successful in helping to treat people that are suffering with uh, with tension in the jaw TMJ and also grinding of teeth so long term, what we're going to do with this study, the study is going to be a 30 day study from which I understand. Right. And um, we're going to help you walk through that. We're going to be providing the, the product free for the people that are going to be in the study. Uh, with the Natural Calm Magnesium, it's a very simple product to use. You just dissolve a teaspoon of the Natural Calm powder in a quarter cup of boiled water, let it become crystal clear, and then you can either cool it off or you can drink it hot like a tea. And we often recommend that you take it before bed, about half hour before bed, because it really gives you great sleep and it also helps prevent the grinding of teeth, which is often what happens when you're trying to sleep. Um, the other thing that we recommend too, I actually use the transdermal magnesium chloride. Um, I spray it on my body twice a day to keep my magnesium levels up. And you can also spray it on the bottom of your feet. There are actually 200 uh, pores on the bottom of your feet that help to really absorb it well. So it will keep your magnesium levels up, which will once again help reduce the, uh, the tension in the jaw and the grinding of the teeth. And also spray it on your toothbrush and brush your teeth with it just before bed. And just I follow up with a little bit of toothpaste because it doesn't taste the best, but it really, really works great. So, um, and we're, the other thing that we're going to be doing is following up with emails and uh, helping with any questions that you might have. And hopefully by the end of the study, you'll be able to help us uh, with the information and also hopefully be able to provide the products to other people that are suffering with these, these problems. Well, Linda, what I learned from you was all the benefits of magnesium and I'm very excited about not only for my own personal health and the people around me, and, but also for my patients and in the practice. And so, over the years, sleep has been tied into dentistry as well. We know if we grind and clench, then we don't sleep as well because our body is tense and we don't have that relaxation. We know that sleep is really important for us. It's as important as diet and exercise, if not more so. It's a time for us to reset our clock. And for that reason, the magnesium can be very helpful. They found that when Linda taught me was that magnesium was excellent for restless leg syndrome, that once you put the magnesium on the legs, you don't have that restless leg syndrome. And so if it works for the legs, hopefully it can work for the jaw. And anything we can add into the mix to allow everybody to have their teeth for a lifetime, I, that's what I vote for. So we're excited about the study and we look forward to having some results that can move us forward in dentistry. Thank you.